got it. Trixie, you are the Jacqueline of all trades. I'm getting it. You're good. You're good. Okay, Mother Chick. So, um, how do you want people to find you? Well, I have a channel on YouTube. And if you just go on YouTube and search, you just one, one word. The Mother Chick. I'm the chick from the mother video. By dancing. <laughs> so it's easy to remember. And I am also on Facebook. I have a fan page on Facebook, The Mother Chick. Uh, my real name is Jill Keffel, K-E-T-H-E-L. And you can find me there on Facebook as well. Where'd you grow up? You can make a friend request and maybe I'll accept it. <laughs> uh, where did you grow up? I grew up in New Jersey. I'm from, I'm, I'm from Pennsylvania, born and raised in Scranton. Relocated to New Jersey at a young age. My mom remarried and took us to Fort Lee. But I basically grew up in Fort Lake. Okay. So that's the upper, upper west side, they say, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And when did you come? Do you, do you live in the city now? Are you, no, I don't. I still live in New Jersey. I'm okay. down in Somerset County, kind of in the middle. I went down there for horses. I've always had a passion in my heart for horses and owned them and ridden them. And wow. Them. So, um, do you own a horse today? I don't. My last horse out of five that I had about two years, or two years ago, my last horse just passed away Aww. a little over a month ago. Of complications, he had health complications, and he was rescued from the slaughterhouse. Oh, I was just so going to say, what did you think about had people eating? Life. I had him for 12 years, and wow. Um, so do you so have a stable and everything? I, I, I've lived on horse farms and worked on horse farms well, while I've had horses, wow. but I still don't have my very own. Right. That, that will come, and wow. when the time is right, I'm sure I'll be getting another horse or two. Wow. What was the horse's name that passed? His name was Justin Time. Justin Aww. Time? He was a racehorse, and uh, he was rescued by a group that rescues abandoned and neglected animals. God bless and, you. And we named him Justin Time. Just in the dog, could you say yeah. Now, what is this with the slaughterhouses? I mean, it's awful. Now, do they use that for dog food and whatnot? Yes, they do. They do. Yes, I've they heard that. They, 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 what they do is they round I up. I heard Alco is uh, like a big user of horse the, the East Coast Racing Association I could be wrong. is very strict. <laughs> the horses that are raised in Red Kentucky and Sentis are registered. But out in the West, they breed. Like puppy mills, they go to thoroughbred horses. They just breed them and breed them and breed them. Like and they chickens. Run them, run them, run them, run them. Like greyhounds. When they break down or don't hold up, they throw them away oh. like garbage. So there are groups that go out and round them up and bring them from west to east. So what do you think of PETA? I was just thinking I think, it's, I think it's wonderful, it's wonderful because, you know, the animals have no voice. Right, you know, that's right. We, we don't, they, we're not the voice. They can't. Speak for themselves. Well, I say people need to see it. See it. See it. Put it in their face. Let them see what's going on. I don't think people understand how chickens live. I don't think people understand what they're doing to horses. And if they knew, they wouldn't do it. People exactly. have great hearts, but they don't. They're not exposed. And yeah. that's where you come in. Bless your heart. Everything with a spinal cord can feel pain. I learned that. The animals. I always say horses. anything and that protects it's you. They have a spirit. They have spirits that are that are awake and aware, and and they they. Can do you have any cats? Yeah, I have right now one cat. His name is Shred. Aww. He lives at the barn. <laughs> I have one cat, too. <laughs> Shred. 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 He does. Shred should be newborn. He's a monster of rock. <laughs> Aww. So any last shout outs, anything you else you'd like to share with uh Do you sing? The Big Bad World? Um, I like to sing privately so far. I think I'm pretty good. Maybe one of these days I'll... I'll surprise everybody and sing the uh, chick, the time. mother chick. I'm just going to keep watching, watching my man Bobby Steele. Please, please come out whenever you see him anywhere performing. The Undead is the band. He's got a new lineup uh, in, his, in his band. The that awesome bass player, Billy Gotta. I mean, Alex. Rebecca and her drummer Billy Gotta. I'm sorry. Anyway, they're new and they're they're, they're going to stay together. This is the undead that's going to tour the world and, and be a big hit. And so uh, once again, Great. come on over on, to the Red Sky on Thursday at 8 p.m. It's on 29th and Park and watch Bobby and the Undead perform 
for Roger Blank, U.S. Congress, 14th District, New York City. Is he a nice guy? He's a wonderful, he's a he, knight in shining armor. Does he have a nice apartment? He, he like, I, meet you guys? I don't know. He has taken us for dinner. Yeah, he has. So he's good. very, very excellent. He's a gentleman. And what and party is he And he's with? brilliant. He's a Republican. And he's running for uh, U.S. Congress. And so, come on out and vote. Because... Because it's important. Things need to change. And this is a guy that wants to step up to the plate and swing the bat and make it happen. So and all of us, you guys, at nice restaurants. Oh, we yeah. Like that. So thank you so much. Thank you. And go watch her videos with her dancing, heavy metal. I want to learn the rules. And went to bob my head. I definitely would love that. Thank like, you. is it every third? Can I ask like, real quick? Yeah. Now, is there an art to being a babe girl on a video? Is there an art to this? When you auditioned or they found you, did you you stand there. You, you have to have a good face. You have to be calm. you got to be thin. You, you have, have to have a nice plus to take off the your hair shirt. Away. Look at him. Do it. Come and on. No yes. stuff. And Look at her. Look at her. Look at And you know, I'm going to channel Glenn Danzig now. Watch. This is what Glenn. This is my lingerie collection. <laughs> Oh my God. And you gotta want to show it. You gotta want to show it. You gotta want to share it. I want to slap it. Share it. Share, share it. what's in you. With share it. Give it to them. Reach out. That's right. Reach Make out it. and let them give feel. it. Feel. Right. Feel, feel it. Feel it like they're there. They're in the room inside. With you. Go for it. You know. Tight. Close, close it. Come out and ooze from you. Ooze from it. every pore in your body through the microphone, through the camera lens, right. into their right into their. World. You have an audience. We all have an audience, and especially with the technology we have now. So, so do just a little clip of when you're in, yeah, on your uh, on, on your feet when you do this oh. on your camera at home. Oh, you got your underwear on. on. But yeah. I have now, Lady Gaga does that too. But okay, so I have to do. Uh huh. Well, see, Lady Gaga can yeah. learn some tricks here, and you kind of have to make the the hair thing happen at one point or another. Emphasis. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's try this. And then Lisa, are you ready? It would be easier if it was an actual song. Yeah, like, they're right. I know. know. We'll I just, in there. my head, you kind of, kind of, just want to swivel those things. Got to That's tough. You know, I'm going to be back. I'm going to actually have. And we're going to be back. Last guest of Rude who is my hands. Two seconds. Thanks for tuning in. Bless you. We'll be back. Hi, Glenn. Hi, Glenn. Bye, Glenn. Come out and play, baby. Ha uh -huh. We'll be back. Thank you. That was great.